What's up, everybody? This is Chieftain, and I'm here with the one and only Blacklight Oni ah! and the Beertastic Hero. And this is Lagging Out. So we have three subjects today, not one, not two, but three subjects in under 12 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. So the first subject we're gonna talk about is something that me and Oni really like, we're really excited about, and Hero's just like, whatever, I guess I'll pretend to be happy about it. But, the, <laughs> but Alfred, Alfred Molina returns as Doc Hawk, Oni. How do you feel about this? Um, I feel like I'm that little child again watching the original Spider-Man movies with the really cheesy graphics. I have no idea what you just said. Where the Deadpool, no, not Deadpool, Daredevil movie was just coming out with Evanescence, okay? Mm -hmm. This is, this is like little kid Blacklight Oni, so it's kind of like, oh look, I get to relive my childhood again. Except, you know, there's more depression now. <laughs> <laughs> Misery is my life, Black Light Oni says. Hero, how do you feel? I have a feeling that you have a different opinion on this. I do have a different opinion, Chieftain, but it's it's not as bad as someone might think. I'm not trying to crash and burn it or anything. Here but it comes. <laughs> but um, in Spider Man two, I think it was mm -hmm. Doc Ox part was wrapped up very nicely he had a redemption arc at the end of it where he was trying to regain control of himself so that the machines that were attached to his back weren't making him evil for whatever you know reasons right story um he had an, a redemption arc and kind of sacrificed himself and that neat little package wrapped it up nicely and it was like the end the proposed idea fan theory that we have out there is that he's coming back and he got plucked out of that moment and got gets put into what's going to be the next Spider-Man movie. That's so my concern. So it's it's kind of like an Into the Spider-Verse kind of thing. They're kind of rewriting history, kind of like... Somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent, creating an alternate 1985. So Back to the Future is a bunch of bullshit. Um, yes, Doctor Strange thing going on. The multiverse of madness is the theory. Mm -hmm. um, so the Into the Spider Verse animated movie, fan freaking tastic. I loved it. You're pointing at me right now as you say that. Look pointing. at you. I'm Look just at pointing your at your point. Look at your finger right now. Different than normal pointing. You are now, if they can pull something off similar, not necessarily the same, but similarly, I wouldn't be mad. I like it. So fuck you. First of all, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I, I like the idea too. I'm with Oni on this. I think I think it'll be I think it'll be good. And if they're rewriting the story a little bit just to get him in there, it's fine. I don't know. If I had a really long appendage, I'd have an ego too. But anyway, um, moving on to the next subject, uh, a subject that I can't fucking stand, but you no, guys God, love this, please, and no. I totally understand because it's kind of a huge story, and it's it's like a soap opera, but or a real life soap opera. <laughs> the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp situation. Oni, I know you're going to hit this out of the park. I know this does not give you a lady boner, but what the fuck is going on now? Okay, so apparently Johnny Depp uh, filed an appeal against the son, against the, the first uh, thing that the literal was son? going on, with, which, which, was, which was the defamation lawsuit. And he lost the original, lost the appeal, um... And then it came out even more evidence that Amber Heard has been lying, which, raise your hand if you're surprised by this. Crickets. Yeah, exactly. No one's fucking surprised. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. Um, Amber yeah, Heard lying? And, no. And, and yet, uh, I mean, it's, it's sad, okay? This is someone's real life. Yeah, mm -hmm. Johnny Depp is an actor, and I will probably never meet him in real life, but he's a real person. And he's right. You have empathy just, for him. Just the allegations against him are ruining his life. Not no evidence. Right. Allegations. This is. This has been going on since 2016. Yeah, yeah. Hero. and, and um, it's that's not going on for a while. Better. I understand why you're exhausted of the story, Chieftain. I understand. Yeah. 
It's mentally I, exhausting. I do. <laughs> but with everything that had been happening, it was all one-sided for so many years. And then all of a sudden, um, after Johnny Depp lost the suit, it came out in the Virginia suit. They subpoenaed um, Children's Hospital. And the Children's Hospital came back saying, look, we were pledged over... Three million dollars of that seven million dollars that we that was told to have been donated, and we never received it. And that was what he tried to appeal with. Oh. But in London, the appeal failed to go through. The two judges. It's a good old boy system. It's a pat your brothers on the back system. It's taboo for judges in England to rule against other judges and overturn their oh, rulings. Oh, I didn't know that. On oh, top of that. Judge Nichols was exposed to have been buddy-buddy with Amber Heard and her defense team. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! So it was a conflict of interest, and that's why it's such a big deal. Further, Adam Waldman, one of Johnny Depp's representatives on his team, (laughs) give the yawn, he also dropped body cam footage from the cops that responded to the call where Amber Heard made the claims that her apartment was demolished. And yeah, the body and it, cam was, footage, it was faked, right? No, the body cam footage showed clean nothing. All oh, it was her, just the opposite. So she fucking of, lied. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, very good wrap up there, Hero. Good job, good job. High five. <laughs> So shall I lead us into directors walking yeah. away? So another another subject you guys brought up, which was really great, is a lot of directors that step down from their respective game franchises. So who are these directors and what companies did they totally say, fuck you, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm so, going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. To the surprise of nobody, the Marvel's Avengers creative Bitches director. Bitches be thirsty. <laughs> The Marvel Avengers creative director leaves Crystal Dynamics and goes back to Sad Dog Studio. I mean, Naughty Dog Studios. Dun, um, dun, dun. It should be no surprise that the creative director <laughs> from Marvel Avengers is from Naughty Dog because Marvel Avengers is a shit show. It is a flaming dumpster fire. Oh, Fucking God. called it. Nobody cares about it. Yeah, Oni, <laughs> you, you called it. So how early did you call this, and how do you know this was going to happen? Okay, so I called Dramatic this pause. when people were doing reveal footage of the gameplay, you know, where it was exploding on live streams and shit. Yeah. And I was watching it with someone, and because they were interested in buying it, you generally watch things you're interested in. And it was dry, it was unimaginative, uh, some of the characterizations didn't make any sense, and I'm not saying this just because I like Bruce Banner as a character. I'm saying this as the storyline and the integration of the characters made no sense to me. And it it was very bare bones. And so I was like, this is, this is not going to be good. This is not going to go well. Quit playing with your titties. <laughs> Uh, I was like, this is not going to be very good. And the guy was like, that's what you think. Well, bitch, where are we now? Fucking why was it a failure? Let's start with the story. The story was trash because they were forcing Miss Marvel to be the leader of the Avengers. And everybody knows that she is not that awesome of a character. She is a self-insert, an OC. Well, they also played up the comics. whole. Oh yeah, we're gonna quote kill off Captain America. Who the fuck ever really right? kills off Captain America? How often does that actually you, really happen? Almost fucking so never. You kill off Captain America. You kill off America. America, fuck yeah. America right? is great. He is now, a boy scout. Oh. He's a boy scout. But he's fine. He's a fucking Boy Scout. He's a boring ass character, but he's been around <laughs> forever and people oh, love him. Oh, he's just he's the no Superman Spider-Man. of Marvel. He's no Deadpool. You know, Deadpool, <laughs> but he is the Boy Scout from uh, Brooklyn, right? So you right. can't kill him off, right, Oni? No, it's the fact that it's. it's <laughs> so fake. who else is stepping down but 
Jeff Kaplan, the director and veteran of 20 years of Blizzard Entertainment of the Overwatch franchise. Right what? before what? Over, right before Overwatch 2 drops. Now, Jeff Kaplan's a big deal. He worked on original World of Warcraft. Some people right. might not care, but that's a big deal. World of Warcraft's been going on since 2000, what, 5? Yeah. Four? It, it, what the fuck are you bitches babbling about? Oh, earlier, because it, it, remember they also had Warcraft. For them. So that's a, hu that's a huge Warcraft. deal. It's a huge but deal. Jeff, so where's he going? Yeah. He, it's not said where he's going. Like an out entertainment. We're breaking uh, a story here. <laughs> call like us. an out exclusive. Call us. <laughs> yeah. Call, call hey, me. Jeff Kaplan. Hey, we're working on some animation and some video we're, games. Come on. We, we <laughs> have some big news that we can't release. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yeah, there's there's no news of where exactly he's running off to that I can tell. Um, okay. That's, that's fact checkable. Um, fact yeah. checkable. It's fucking that, sad. Yeah, I like, we get to our put that much rights. time into a company and, and then yeah. you got to step away. That's got to be heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Right. 20 years just eh, it's actually wow, about crazy. 18 years, but he was with Blizzard a Entertainment for a really long time. What do you guys think? Did we get it right? What did we miss? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe at the links below and don't forget to bang that bell on the top left hand of the screen, the left the top the top left hand corner of the screen. Words He's are going hard, folks. Stroke. Words are very hard. I English and good. I English good. And also we have membership opportunities below. You can see that little button on the bottom right hand corner of the video. <laughs> so on behalf <laughs> of Hero. Yo. And the Black Light Oni. What's up? I'm the chieftain, bitch. And I'm signing off and lagging out.